Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm in Shoreham today, Shoreham Village in Kent, and uh, near Otford and Lullingstone. Lullingstone's that way, Otford's that way, kind of in the middle. And uh, if you haven't guessed by the YouTube title already, I'm here to go to Shoreham uh, Cross, really, which is a huge uh, cross built into the landscape. And I won't tell you too much about it at the moment. As you can tell, I'm pretty out of breath. I had to walk a huge hill and I'm only halfway up it at the moment. So I thought I'd tell you now just before I got out of breath by the time I got to the top. But, um, yeah, so I've got to walk up here. So hang on, if I show you here. So that's what I've got to walk up. It's not actually that bad. And the cross is in between those trees there, where I'm zooming in. Because I'm old and fat, <sighs> I get knackered pretty quickly, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, hopefully you will enjoy it, and I can tell you a little bit about Shoreham itself, which would be interesting, because there's not really much to sort of see, as always, but it's definitely worth a trip when you do. So, come with us guys, let's do this, bye. Hi everybody, what's up? So I finally made it to the top of the hill. To see, uh, I'm sure a lot of hikers have been laughing at a fat, sweaty, uh, sweaty old man crawling. Yes, that's right, crawling up the hill. Not a very pretty sight. Hopefully, you can enjoy this as much as I am. There's church bells ringing in the background, and uh, we're in Shoreham. What a lovely place to be at. Beautiful, beautiful village in uh, in Kent. Lovely. Not far from actually where I live. Again, always good to do a local one means I don't have to sort of rush about too much. This actual view, this cross is actually visible as you drive along Lullingstone. In fact, actually the reverse is true when you're driving from Lullingstone to Otford. So when you see this cross, I oh, will be there waving at you from a great height. So Shoreham itself, let's talk about that briefly. Um, most bomb village in the whole of UK in World War II uh, due to the fact that there was an army presence that was surrounding it, uh, which made it quite a prime target for German bombers. But as of consequence, one of the German bombers that was coming over here um, was actually shot down and of consequence it's actually uh, been placed into the Battle of Britain Museum which is down there I had to walk past it in Shoreham Village lovely little place very small food in there is lovely people in there are delightful um, this is before I made it up to this hill so if I was to go down there now probably sweating buckets very different story I'm sure uh, on a lighter note 
just enjoy this day, it's lovely. Uh, the leaves are changing, it's coming towards uh, winter time, my favourite time of the year. Uh, and it's just lovely, it's quiet, quiet now, the church bells have stopped. And uh, you can see a huge view, and it's just delightful, absolutely delightful. So yeah, I'm going to try and get as far down there as possible to that cross because it actually does slope down quite dramatically um, and I'm not really wearing very sort of fashionable clothing enough that it will sort of keep me safe from falling off the edge of a hill but please enjoy and know the sacrifices that I do for you people out there so that you don't have to okay there's a plane going overhead you can tell how hard we are I could almost touch it with my hand yeah so let's do this, alright? Let me take you. Come on, we'll go. We'll go together. Come on. Oh yeah, and you two, please be respectful. If I do fall off, it is not a form of you guys laughing at me. Although I'm sure it will be hilarious, as you'll probably see the camera slowly disappear and uh, me tumbling down the hill afterwards. But please don't laugh. I could be injured. Could be my last YouTube video ever. Enough talking, let's look. Yes, I'm walking down very conscious that the hill and gravity may take me over. Christ. made it <laughs> made it to the bottom and I didn't hurt myself I'm probably going to cause more of an accident going up there I reckon I've got to go back up there because I've left some of my stuff up there damn it as you can probably tell you can't really tell it's actually a cross from here just a huge runway Like I said, it shows testament to actually people who decided that they wanted to do something like this. I find it actually a really beautiful thing. Because I think there should be more things like this actually to commemorate the fallen. The people who have actually risked their lives to come and fight for our country. So that people like me can stay here and enjoy what England and the rest of the world has to offer. And in fact, I come from a bit of personal information that I come from a a military background um, both sides of my family male my dad both my granddads and their great granddads and their great granddads before that have been in the army they've all been in the military fighting world war one world war two so something like this is quite nice to actually look at and to actually appreciate because when i turned around to them at the time and i said oh yeah you know oh, i won't go in the army i'm probably going to end up being a musician the face of joy and horror at the same time I think they're kind of glad that I never did join the army because I'm an only child and I think they would have worried way way too much as most parents probably would do but glad that actually by being a musician I was happy about what I chose and I have a lot of respect for people in the armed forces in fact one of my best mates was and uh still think about him quite a lot so yeah and uh let's go from there i'm gonna get a rest now see you in a minute bye